I come from a competitive sporting background where the attitude towards being great at what you do is about being the best. It's about working harder than everybody else. It's about putting in more hours than everybody else. And it's really about working yourself through the ground until you have no energy left. Um, even if it makes you sick, if you want to be great at what you do, you have to outwork your opponent, you have to grind, you have to be willing to sacrifice your happiness, your joy, your peace, in order to accomplish the ultimate goal of winning. While this way of living does bring about certain results and a high level of skill, it doesn't do it without compromising other areas within your life. And it's often the case that you see with many athletes that they get to such a height, but they're lacking in some other area um, and often plagued by their own mental health. This is what it was like for me. And this way of living actually flowed into other areas of my life. I've just been addicted to working hard. I built up habits of working all day and all night because I knew that somewhere in the world, someone else was awake trying to take my spot. I developed a lot of skills, things that I'm really good at today, but the way I would define myself in crucial points in my life is that I'm like a Swiss army knife, but made of plastic. So much time went into developing the skills, refining the skills and having that dedication that no matter what I will put in the hours and that's all because I believe that hard work equaled success, security and in some cases satisfaction. For a lot of people their hard working habits are very similar to mine but I'd probably throw in another one, survival. We are told from very early on that actually you need to be able to provide, you need to be able to have a, a stable life and so you have to work hard. Many people live this way. There's a sense of accomplishment for working hard and feeling as though you've earned your way and you haven't been given any handouts and essentially you punched your ticket and then you can feel proud of that even if it has a detriment on your health. And too often we will work very hard regardless of our health and this is the point where everything becomes off balance 2020 forced people to change change the way we work change the way we connect change the way we communicate but it's often the case that we don't know that these choices for change are always available for us it doesn't take a global pandemic for us to make a decision that is actually better for us for our health and our well-being. I've seen through my own works that a lot of my peers, clients, friends and family are all victim to burnout. Many of them haven't achieved their goals, no matter how skilled they are or how qualified they are, because at their foundation there is no balance. And all of this is because of habits. We are habitual creatures and so what we repeatedly do, we become. These habits can be seen as constructive or unconstructive. And the more you do them, the more you repeat them, they become more instilled in you. And so it's harder for you to even believe that there is another way. For many years, there have been loads of videos about how to have a successful work-life balance and how to have the perfect work-life balance. But I want to tell you today that that's a myth. It's not as easy as having a balance of half work, half life, um, because the balance starts within. On scales, this may be the case, but when we're working with humans, we're working with the intangibles which fluctuate moment by moment. Balance isn't about what you do or how much you do it. It's more to do with how you do it and why. It's not solely about less work, more meditation, or less junk food, more veg. It's about being conscious in everything that you do so life doesn't drag you. Rather, you choose your every action, reaction and investment. It's about spending time with yourself all of the time and not just through an allocated journaling space in your evening. It's about being an active participant within your own life, moment by moment, being present enough to experience every single thing that you're going through. This means no looking too far forward at the things that you have to do tomorrow and worrying about the things that you potentially may not finish tomorrow and 
robbing your moment of today. This way of living gives you more focus in the moment. The attention that you give to each moment will be more productive and less stressful and set the table for balance. When we worry about the next thing, we add more weight to our scales and thus we become unbalanced. So there is no work-life balance. The balance has to be within you. I challenge you today to not work hard, not work smart. Instead, work conscious. Be in the moment and pay attention to every detail that you possibly can. And through this, you'll be more efficient and you'll be able to actually use the skills that you have acquired over the years in a much more precise and effective way. This will impact how you prepare your meals, what you eat, how you work, and will effectively have a ripple on effect throughout your whole life. When you are aware of your life and your existence, there you will find balance. I hope that this has helped you today. I thank you for listening. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. And until next time, stay blessed and I wish you better days.